in today's video, I'm going to be moving some interior doors. Hey everybody, this is Bill with Live Simple Live Free, continuing to work on renovating this house and in today's video I'm going to be moving a couple of interior doors and we have a lot of uh, changes. Once again, of course, the only thing that's constant is change. <laughs> so, uh, changes in the plans of what, we'll do, what we're doing and I will explain that as we go. Um, now, a couple of things that I want to mention firsthand. You guys are all very engaged in, in our videos, making a lot of comments. I really appreciate that. And it's a lot of fun, and you're making a lot of suggestions. So there's a couple of things that you guys have said that I want to address. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> many of the suggestions that you've made are wonderful suggestions that if I was going to live in this house, I would like to do. However, I'm not living here. I'm going to be selling it. And as a contractor, I always have to be aware of the cost to uh, return on investment, ROI. And there are many things that you've suggested that would be really wonderful in the house, but quite frankly, the, the added cost would not add any additional value to the sale of the house. So it would not increase my, increase my ROI. So. I could spend more money and more time doing some of the upgrades and get very little additional benefit out of the sale of the price, uh, sale of the, of the house. So many, many of the things, like I said, I would love to have too, but it just doesn't make sense as a contractor uh, to do that unless I'm going to, you know, somebody already owns the house and they're contracting me to do it. But uh, <clears throat> things like, for instance, uh, hardwood floors throughout the whole house. It looks like we're going to be putting hardwood floor in the living room and dining room. Uh, so when you walk in, it has that appeal of the, the new, you know, the beautiful uh, hardwood floor. But for the thousands of dollars that it would cost us to put uh, hardwood floor throughout the entire house, it wouldn't increase our value, sales value all that much. So we just have to be aware of the cost to the, uh, the ROI, return on investment, whenever we make a decision. Uh, another thing was the deck. You know, a lot of people said you, we need to build a big deck. Well, lumber prices right now, especially for pressure treated lumber, are astronomical. And it just doesn't make sense. It wouldn't increase the sales value much more if we put in a big, huge deck as, as if we put in a 10 by 16 or something like that. Also, there were many, many of you that went in the last video when I was taking out all the cabinets that, that said that uh, I can reuse the cabinets or donate them to Habitat for Humanity or something like that. I did address this a little bit in the, uh, in the video, but there were a few that were salvageable, and Barry actually has um, another project that he's going to use those on. But uh, for the most part, those cabinets looked very nice on the surface. They were hard, you know, hardwood finished cabinets on the surface. But the rest of the cabinets were all basically made out of fiberboard and they were all, you know, 50 years old or whatever. And many of them actually fell apart as I was taking them down. So most of them are not reusable. Most of them are just simply going to the dump. I promise you that anything that is reusable is either being reused or donated or sold or something like that, like most of the kitchen appliances and that sort of thing. Um, another thing is that, you know, Barry and I are doing different projects on this house. We, we both have the ability to work completely independently, and many of the projects are just one-person projects anyway. So basically, I'm videoing what I'm doing, and Barry's videoing what he and Molly are doing. So, and he's doing different things. So if you really want to get the full... Uh, story of what we're doing here, you should also subscribe to Barry's channel, Empty Hammock, if you haven't already, because he, he also does a weekly video on things that are totally different from what I'm doing. So, okay, I've been blathering on enough. So let me get, get it, go inside and get started on moving some of those doors. So I'm going to start on this project. We're filling in this door and moving the door over to here. So I need to do that. And then this door will get filled in part way because the sink is going behind it. So I need to frame that out. I 
got a receptacle down there that needs to be moved further over because the door is going to be right in there. Want to try to reuse as much of these moldings as we can, so I'm taking them off very carefully. Okay, this is the roof. Been okay. delivering it Monday. I'm going to be doing gutters. When they call me, I'll let you know. If you can meet them over here, that would be fantastic. We need to verify that the knuckleheads actually put each one of these things on the truck. Okay.
What are you doing? Pulling out staples. Pulling out staples. Fun. And listening to an ebook. Yeah. Yeah, iPod, iPad, whatever that is. Audiobook. So, shouldn't you be in school? No, I'm out. Uh -huh. What, last Friday was your last day? Yeah. Yeah, very cool. As you can see, it's a family affair. <laughs> Good job. So we have another change of plans yet again for the kitchen. That door is a problem in the design. So we're actually, that door goes out into the garage. So we're actually going to move that door over to here. That gives us that whole wall over there and a great big island. I'm not going to get into all the detail of that, but that allows us to keep that door instead of turning it into a window. So we probably, no, we're not going to be able to keep that actual sliding glass door because it's trash. And new sliding glass doors right now are thousands. So we're going to look, see what we can find. Might be able to get a French door or something like that. Or we may just replace it with a regular walkout door with some glass, glass in it. But at any rate, we'll be able to keep the door in the kitchen going out into the deck. So we're kind of excited about that. But here's this old monstrosity of a deck. I'm gonna have to tear the whole thing down. It could, I could still walk on it, but it's really rotten. Steps down, down, down. This goes into the garage. And then notice here, this is only like four feet wide. And then over here, it's only maybe six or seven feet wide. And then it goes down and then up again. So we're gonna be eliminating all of that all of this monstrosity and then right in here we're going to be building a square deck 10 by 16 it'll come out 10 feet and 16 feet will cover this door and that door as well so you have access to the deck from both of those doors and then one set of steps down to the ground 
So it'll be a much more usable deck, 10 by 16, big enough for a picnic table. If you put a picnic table out here, you wouldn't even be able to get past it. So the new one will be plenty of room for a picnic table, barbecue, grill, whatever. So I think uh, after many, many discussions of how to design this, I think we finally come up with something that we like. So the next thing I need to do is tear down this deck. And Barry's got his truck here. So I can start throwing the lumber in there, taking it to the dump. Seems like en endless demolition right now. <laughs> So I did that first section and then Barry came along with a bigger crowbar. You gotta have the right tools for the job. He made quick work of it. So now we've got most of the deck off. We've still got some, some over there, but we can see what we've got now. Notice no flashing. And with the water coming down off of the eave, uh, pouring over the gutter because it was full and hitting the deck and splashing up here. I'm surprised this isn't considerably worse than it, than it is since there was no flashing. We definitely have some rotten spots in here. A good portion of this sill plate of this box and probably the sill plate under it is going to have to be replaced all the way down to on the other side of that door. This whole section Gonna have to jack up the house just a little bit so we can replace all of that rotten wood. You never know what you're gonna get into until you get into it, but we just assumed that this was the case. There was a big cedar tree right there that was all overgrown hanging out into the driveway but then it was running into those power lines right there and it had been chopped off at the top it was this big mangy thing so we just cut it out and now it's it opened everything up much nicer you can see the two dogwoods you can see the cedar branches there we've trimmed up the uh the hedgerow here and we still need to trim this one yet. So, working outside as well as inside. So now according to our newest kitchen plan, which keeps changing, hopefully this is the final. I have to take this door that goes out into the garage and move it over there into that corner. I'm gonna to have to actually just take the sheetrock off of here because this is where the door is going. And there's three receptacles here and I need to see all of that wiring. Also, this will be the wall for the kitchen, the receptacles above the counter. We're probably going to have to rewire everything because the code, electrical code for uh, kitchens is radically different than it was in the 70s when they did this. So I need to take all of this off, gain access to all of this so I can put it in the door and we can redo all the wiring in here. enough so that I can see all the wires that are in here where the door goes. I'll tear the rest off later when we are actually doing the wiring. This old insulation is faced on both sides. I've never seen anything like that before. That's no longer code. That is not allowed. Ok, 
Okay, now that really opened up the wiring so I can see what's going on here. Looks like we got spaghetti here. <laughs> So that's it for now. I'm going to end this video here. I've got those two interior doors moved around. And uh, next week I'm going to be, you know, I don't know. <laughs> there are so many different projects to do. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be attacking next. But I'm sure it will be good, whatever it is, right? Okay, so thanks for watching. Live simple, live free, you be blessed. Join me next week for the next one. Thanks for watching.